you might have just created a portfolio or a website and probably have a contact form somewhere. But you aren't sure how to add an email feature so that someone who views your website or a portfolio can send you an email. If that's the case, then don't worry. You've come to the right place. Hello everyone, welcome to Code Easy, where we talk about programming and help beginners to make their coding journey easy. For this, we will need a HTML form, which you probably have it by now, and we will be using email.js feature, which is available for free. At first, let's go to email.js and create our account. If you don't have account, you can create a free account, but for now, I'll just sign in. Once you're in, you'll need to create an email service. So for this one, we will be using Gmail. So we'll select that and you'll get your service ID over here. And we'll have to connect our account as well. I'll use my Gmail accounts. You can use whichever account you want to link with your website. Once that is done, we'll create the service. Go to email template. Let's create a new email template. So this template is something that you will receive when someone sends you an email from your website in subject i will just put subject so these parameters that you see over here you'll have to have the same parameters in your website as well so we'll do this one later but for now in subject i'll put subject and hello in to name i'll put name so we'll have to edit this the name is uh, will be your name so you can put whichever name you want so i'll put the easy and you got an email new message from the person's name here you it will have your message and best wishes from email zs team so you can leave that one like that and we have auto reply feature over here as well which you if you want to you can set it up but for now i'll just leave this one as blank and you save that that's with email js now you have to go to your code editor and open your code over there after that you'll need to link email js with your code let's go to the docs and go to installation over here you copy this browser script from here copy it and you paste it somewhere in the header section just like that and let's make it nice adding some indentation and you over here you'll need the public key of your email js so you can access that by going to your account and over here you'll get the public key you just copy that come over to your code editor again and paste it there after you do that now what you'll have to do is you'll need to create a send email function so we'll do that in script.js file, but first let's link that script.js file, script, and we'll give source as script.js, save it. And now let's open the script.js file over here. Be easier to get the IDs. And now what you'll have to do is create a function, which we will name as send mail and over here we'll make an object known as params which will have key value pair of your whatever fields that is needed for email js so if you come over here to your template you'll see that you'll need subject name message so that email from over here is required if you want to do auto reply so what you can do is let's enable auto reply as well subject you can say auto reply and to email you can put email so that if you put it this one here email over there so they'll get the auto reply email so you can put thank you for your inquiry we will get back to you shortly apply the changes and save it let's go back to code editor and our params will be name which will be and we'll get the uh, value of name from so using document dot get element by id over here over here if you have a look we have name field 
as ids name so we'll simply put name and we'll get the value in mm -hmm. email f subject with once you're done with setting your parameters we will need to initiate the email js so we need to send these uh, all these value to email js and email js will send it back to your email so for that we have we have a function from email js which is email js uh, send you'll have to link your service id your template id and we'll need to send these parameters our service id will be this one so let's copy that put it over here and our template id will be just that so you can get it from settings copy that and paste it here and at the end we'll send the and once you send that we want to alert and that your email has been sent you save it your send email function is ready and now you'll have to call it over here so on click of that submit button what you do is you send mail save it that should be able to trigger the email from your website and let's test our code we go like just go there we'll do demo the demo at gmail.com subject hi and messages hi and we send it we got the alert email sent now let's go and check it in our mailbox here you can see that we got the email saying we sent it as subject as high and we send the message as high now we got that same message over here and you can see the auto reply which says demo at gmail.com not found because i just put that for our test so when someone else puts their correct email address this inquiry email will be directed to that email address thank you guys for watching this video see you in the next one